This is a clip from the Chris Wright Show podcast. Hi, right, welcome to the show. Uh, I want to issue an apology right off the bat. Our last show was pretty unprofessional. Not that it's going to be too much more professional now, but it should sound a hell of a lot better. Minus the hi-hat that you heard in the background. <laughs> but mainly what I want to apologize for is we had a caller last time who was discussing her obese cat. And I feel like I really held back. And I want you, the listener, to know that I'm not going to hold back anymore. And what I she just kept going on what and What did on. she hold back? I held back. What did you hold back? She, kept, she, was, she was a poor pet owner. We're talking about yeah. Jessica? Yeah, we had oh, a yeah, guest yeah. named Jessica. Jessica and she from was Oakland. Talking about her obese cat. Okay. And we were, I was just playing along and letting her ramble, and I was just getting so pissed off that she just kept talking about this 25-pound cat. Well, I mean, you're in charge of the show here. I mean, why didn't you come I in? I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm taking I'm taking the show back. This okay. is the Chris Break show. I'm taking Good. it back. And I wanted to tell her that she was just a horrible pet owner because she let her cat get to 25 pounds. How did she let it get to that? We should have her back on the show to explain. I mean, yeah, Wait. she's welcome to come on the show anytime. I don't know if she'll want to come on now that I'm... Bad mouthing her open. pet ownership. Who was who was the skills. cat that couldn't lick its own self? Was that Jessica's cat? Uh, that was our friend Robert's cat. Robert, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, he's yeah. cool. But now I Jessica, know. she's got a problem. <laughs> now Chris, well. since you since you lived with that qua- cat, for, lived with the cat. You, since you lived with the cat for quite a while, is it your in your opinion that he can lose weight? Absolutely. In my, I mean, in my opinion. She's just a bad cat owner. Uh, too busy for the cat, right? Yeah, she doesn't give the cat the you know attention if the cat. Because the first thing she told me was, I must pet the cat while it's eating to get and it that to the eat. The cat won't eat Aww. unless you pet it. Well, but, and I'm well. looking at this fat ass cat, and there is no way that this cat's not going to eat unless I'm petting him. No, the only it time de- it gets affection is when it when it uh, is eating. It depends on yeah. It might be a behavioral Whoa. thing. Well, what I think is when you pet a cat, that's how you teach them that something is good. You know, like yeah, you're, attention. You're, yeah, you're encouraging them and saying this is good. You get rewarded. So anytime the cat would go to eat, she would pet it, and then it would just start. Oh, eating. So, so it so, eats, so he she pets him. I guess. Yeah. Oh, now see, I, I have five cats, and I personally like my kitties a little fat. But 25 pounds, I don't know. Probably is my girl's your, a little fat, but that's, you know. <laughs> is that your choice as a pet owner? Is it okay to, yes. to breed the, the fat cat? I don't, well, I don't think you should breed a fat cat, <laughs> nor should you, like, enable it to be fat. Right. But you should give it but attention. You, you prefer a fat cat. I do. They're happy. But, They're I mean, happier. if it's so this, if it's so fat, it can't lick its private parts to clean. I mean, we got a problem. <laughs> All right, I want to get back on track here. From the Chris Break Show podcast.